Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. You're with Civic Dude, and no, this is not one of my Let's Play videos. This is just an update on 1.2.4, the newest version of Minecraft. It came out earlier today, and there's a couple new things that I wanted to show you guys. Most importantly and coolest, I think, is the new textures for um, different kinds of smooth wooden planks yielded from the four different kinds of trees. You can see we have the regular oak trees which yield the regular wooden planks that we've all been accustomed to seeing. We have the birch trees that have now yielded the lighter colored wooden planks. We have the jungle trees yielding sort of a strawberry colored wooden plank and we have the pine trees that give us a darker colored uh, plank, kind of a chocolate flavor almost. So this is just a quick update video. I'm pretty excited about this. There's going to be a lot of cool designs that we can start making with these new textures, uh, these different kinds of blocks. I'm really excited about it. I haven't seen too many videos yet about this because it just came out today, uh, a little bit earlier in the day, so that there shouldn't be too many videos about this yet. But I thought I'd give you guys a little heads up so you can see what's going on. Uh, a couple other things that are pretty cool about the about the uh, new update is you have the regular F3 but if you click shift plus F3 you can get a little bit minimized debug menu it has mostly uh, just your just your uh, coordinates your seed pretty much everything except for all the graph stuff on the bottom of the of the uh, display so it uh, doesn't get in your way near as much and I know on smaller screens this is going to be really helpful because that that debug menu, debug window, really gets in your way whenever you're trying to uh, use it underground and you have a small screen. Um, another thing that's pretty cool is uh, the ocelots, uh, specifically when they're tamed and they're cats, they're supposed to behave a little bit differently. I haven't tested this out yet, but I'm sure it's going to either be really cool or really annoying. But we'll see how that turns out. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking in. Um, we'll get back to the Let's Plays uh, very shortly. Um, normally I'd be using my regular uh, pure BD craft texture pack for this, but this uh, update is for Minecraft is so new that um, that texture pack is actually not updated yet. But as soon as it's updated, I will definitely show you guys these different these new textures in that texture pack because it is still my favorite texture pack. Um, but for now, we'll just show you in the default texture pack. Also, guys, one uh, other cool thing that I wanted to show you was the new sandstone blocks check it out we have the regular sandstone that is made let me see if I can I'm in creative mode so I can't really craft them for you but I can draw them out for you watch this so if you have your regular sand and pretend this is the the crafting bench you make your regular sandstone block with four pieces of sand just like that now in order to make this new smooth sandstone block see how it has a lip little lip around it what you do is you take four sandstone blocks and that yields four of these smooth sandstone blocks and last but not least the new hieroglyphic sandstone block that has been uh, in the actual terrain.png files of minecraft for a while now and people have been speculating on what it was going to be used for um, you create this by Okay, imagine that uh, this one right here is the very middle. You basically just stack two half slabs on top of each other. Two half slab stone slabs. And that will yield one of these new hieroglyphic creeper faced stone blocks. Pretty cool, huh guys? Okay, well that is going to do it for me. You've been watching Civic Dude. And we'll see you next time, guys.